In the world, there are only a few places that can be considered as amazing and beautiful as the Amazon. Its jungles are home to one out of every 10 known species on Earth, and we are still far from fully exploring all of it. Almost every day, we are amazed by some incredible discoveries in the Amazon. Get ready to be amazed, bewildered, slightly disgusted, and perhaps even frightened. From walking trees to deadly yet beautiful frogs, you're on the Top Facts Black Channel, and these are the 10 strangest things recorded in the Amazon jungle that are hard to believe. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, let's go. If you remember the old horror movie Anaconda, you know that these snakes are native to the Amazon and can grow quite large. The movie also tells the story of a hidden, unknown tribe that lives deep in the jungle and worships giant anacondas. And this also has some truth to it. Meet the warriors of the Varani from Ecuador. They not only worship these snakes, but also catch them. When catching these giant snakes, warriors are careful not to harm them, even though anacondas are the largest snakes in the world and proven man-eaters. These people consider them sacred. For them, the rivers and trees are their life, and they believe that anacondas give them spiritual power. So despite anacondas and all the other fierce creatures living in the Amazon, these warriors consider the forest their home and the outside world is dangerous. The reason they catch the snake is to allow biologists to take samples and determine if oil exploration in the rivers has any negative impact on nature. Moreover, these warriors made headlines in major news agencies worldwide when the snake they had just caught with a BBC journalist turned out to be the largest anaconda ever caught. It was five meters long, setting a world record. Journalists had a unique opportunity to live with these people, see how they hunt, but also make friends with the forest animals and learn their ancient customs. This is the Matamata turtle. I don't want to call it ugly, so I'll just say it looks strange. It's more like a spiky dinosaur than a turtle, isn't it? This is a large and mostly immobile turtle with a long disproportionate head, strange patches of skin, and something like a spike on the end of its nose. This bizarre turtle can grow to almost one meter in length and weigh up to 21 kilograms. These guys live throughout the Amazon, but due to their slowness, they prefer slowly flowing or stagnant waters such as swamps. Its strange appearance and color have some advantages. The shell looks like a piece of bark floating in the water and the head resembles fallen leaves. The way the Matamata catches prey is also ingenious. It rapidly thrusts its head forward and when its huge mouth opens wide, it creates a low-pressure zone that sucks in the frightened prey. The creature has no chewing apparatus, so it simply swallows its victims whole. You've probably heard of jaguars, haven't you? But did you know about a cat called a jaguarundi? Yes, I hadn't heard of it either. Despite the similar names and the fact that both are cats, these guys are almost nothing alike. In reality, the jaguarundi is closer in relation to a puma than a jaguar. But if you look at its build and stance, it resembles a domestic cat more. Nevertheless, prepare to be touched when you see this little one. She's a true albino, which means she's entirely white and has red eyes. True albinos typically have poor vision, and it's hard to imagine how this little guy could blend into the jungle. Or, to be precise, how her prey wouldn't notice her because she's a female. What makes the situation even more complex is that unlike most other big cats, jaguarundis hunt only during the day. And it's impossible for a white cat to move through the jungles without being noticed. This little girl was discovered in Colombia. And fortunately, because experts believe she wouldn't have survived in the wild on her own she was transported to a local reserve for medical examination. She's the only albino jaguarundi ever found in Colombia, and she will continue to live a happy and carefree life in the Nature Conservation Center. The discovery of geoglyphs and other artificial earthworks suggests that some areas of the Amazon were incredibly densely populated before the arrival of Christopher Columbus. 
20th century anthropology believed it was studying small societies that once inhabited the Amazon, but these new discoveries seem to indicate that there were very large and extremely complex civilizations here. This is somewhat supported by eyewitness accounts from Europeans in the 16th and 18th centuries, which were previously considered exaggerations. Now, unfortunately, as the tropical forest is being destroyed, we can see what lies beneath it. It turns out there are many geoglyphs and earthworks. It appears they were not intended for habitation, but were used for some kind of ceremonies. Some theorists, like the well-known Graham Hancock, suggest that the Amazon was not always a jungle. In his view, these earthworks prove that it was farmland that gradually turned into a tropical forest over time. Even if we don't go that far, research seems to support the theory that the region was inhabited by between 500,000 to 1 million people. It's incredible and also very sad to think that such extensive civilizations were conquered and ultimately destroyed due to diseases brought by Europeans, which were considered relatively harmless. When I mentioned the lost tribes of the Amazon, did I talk about their ancient cities? If not, let's talk about them now, and in particular, one of them. In the depths of the Amazon, many lost cities are waiting to be discovered. And with each new discovery, we learn something new about the ancient civilizations that built them. For example, it seems that between these long-forgotten centers of power, there was a vast network of roads. It appears that the people who built them were at a higher stage of development than we previously thought. But one stone complex in particular defies any explanations because it looks like it was built by giants. It was a complex of pyramidal structures so well hidden by the forest and mud that no one even noticed it was an artificial construction. The largest of them was 18 meters high and 18 meters wide. It was constructed from hundreds of stones, each weighing over two tons. Legends passed down from the indigenous peoples of Ecuador speak of a nation of giants who built these massive structures and long ago abandoned them. Myths about giants exist in different parts of the world, so the question arises, is there any truth in these stories? Is it possible that nations that existed far from each other and had no means of communication have similar stories from their past? If you ever find yourself in Peru and have a desire for adventure and exploration of the uncharted, you should definitely visit the Shanay Tempishka River, also known as La Bamba. This river is a tributary of the Amazon and is known as the only boiling river in the world. When you see it for the first time, it will remind you of a scene from the movie Legend with Tom Cruise, where you expect the witch Meg to emerge from the water. In reality, the legend of this river is somewhat different, but no less captivating. La Bamba is located in the high altitude forest of Huanuco, inhabited by the Ashaninka people. They believe that the boiling water of the river is created by Yakumama, a giant serpent known as the Mother of Water. Well, her childbirth was incredible because the water temperature can reach 200 degrees Fahrenheit or around 100 degrees Celsius. This river is 25 meters wide, six meters deep, and boils along its seven kilometers. Truly strange and amazing. Did you know that the Amazon is a true treasure trove of valuable medicines? Oh yes, many modern medicines are derived from plant sources. Take, for example, one of the most popular drugs in the world, aspirin. It was originally made from the bark and leaves of willow and poplar trees. So it's well known that some plants can have numerous health benefits or be used as medicine. But it's strange that out of more than 130,000 different plant species on Earth, only 5,000 have ever been studied for their medicinal properties. Those that have been analyzed have provided us with 95 medical products. So potentially, we could get 2,470 products from plants, which means people could be much healthier if they turned to nature for answers. Some people do just that by venturing into the Amazon to find out what it can offer us. The first step toward this goal is talking to the local residents. Indigenous peoples have centuries of experience relying solely on the Amazon for all their needs. One of the most interesting and cool-sounding remedies is dragon's blood. It's essentially a sap collected from croton trees, which acts as a disinfectant. 
and serves as a natural dressing for cuts. Another amazing remedy sounding a bit eerie is old man's fingers used to treat ear infections. This creature is as tiny as a frog can be, but incredibly deadly. I've heard of frogs that secrete hallucinogens through their skin, and even frogs so poisonous that they kill anything that tries to eat them. But this lovely little creature has a completely different type of weapon. It shoots toxic darts. Just kidding, of course, but it would be cool if it were true. No, this frog stores its poison on its skin. It's beautiful, but deadly. And when I say beautiful, I mean it. It's stunning with a vibrant range of colors like yellow, orange, and blue contrasting with deep red and black pigments. But as the old rule goes, if it's brightly colored, it's probably poisonous. And the golden poison dart frog has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice. Strangely, some experts believe it gets its poison from a specific type of beetle it eats. It also consumes crickets, fruit flies, ants, and termites. It simply extends its long tongue in a fraction of a second and catches its unsuspecting prey. This frog is immune to its own toxins, but unfortunately other animals are not. If they try to eat this creature, the poison prevents the transmission of nerve impulses and their muscles become inactive or in a constant state of contraction which can lead to fibrillation and heart failure. No, it's not a lizard that looks like Jesus Christ. It's even better. It's a lizard that walks on water. Its name is the Basilisk, and its specialty is speed. But this little guy takes it to another level. He's so fast that he almost skims on the water. He's even comical, almost like a roadrunner. Luckily, we have slow motion footage so we can actually see what's happening. But how does he do it? One of the advantages is undoubtedly his speed. These guys can run at speeds of up to five feet per second. But speed alone isn't enough. The basilisk is also very lightweight and has elongated toes on its hind legs. The hidden weapon is between the toes. There are small skin flaps that expand and capture air when it runs, almost like wet feet. This perfect combination of all these factors allows the basilisk to do the unimaginable. Scientists, amazed by this ability, tested the lizards under controlled conditions. They made them run on water sprinkled with small reflecting glass beads. Then they filmed the lizard with a high-speed camera and were able to understand what was happening. There were three distinct stages of movement. The slap when the lizard hits the water, the thrust as it moves forward, and the recovery during which the leg lifts above the water and moves forward. If done correctly, this little guy moves like the flash. If you're a spider enthusiast, you know what we're talking about and you'll definitely enjoy the next video on our list. But if you're not a fan of spiders, be prepared for a surprise and a scare, because this specimen is huge. The Goliath bird eater spider can weigh up to a staggering 170 grams. It doesn't weave webs to catch prey as you might expect from a spider. This species is more like a stealth hunter. It blends into the forest canopy covered in leaves and attacks its victims as they pass by. Despite its name, these guys rarely hunt birds. They are more focused on small rodents and insects. In addition to their stealth, they have another tool in their arsenal, their hairy legs. While people often consider hairy legs a drawback, for these spiders, their lives depend on them. Their eight legs have super sensitive fine hairs that detect even the slightest vibrations in the air created by movement around them. These guys don't have fangs, so they secrete digestive juices that dissolve tissues, and then they suck them up and drink. So, those were amazing shots taken in the Amazon. If you enjoyed the episode and want to see something similar, leave comments like subscribe to the Top Facts Black channel, and right now, watch one of our previous episodes.